Hey there, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad that you're here today and trust that God has given you a wonderful start uh, to this new week. But let's pray together as we seek the Lord today. Father, we thank you for the word of God. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us today to, to know and honor you in all that we do. God, that you'd speak to us from the word of God this morning. And that God, that you'd uh, challenge us and help us to be uh, the people that uh, you desire for us to be. And Lord, to seize opportunities to serve you, even in, uh, when there appears as if no one else will. And so God, we love you. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to uh, 1 Chronicles chapter number 10. 1 Chronicles chapter 10. All these genealogies have uh, have come and gone. And, and in, in chapter 10, we find a brief um, a brief synopsis of, of King Saul's final moments um, in leadership over Israel. Um, they're battling the Philistines. Uh, the Bible says in verse 1, Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And Saul and all of his, all of his boys, they were killed. Uh, Saul fell upon his own sword after being struck uh, by an arrow. Uh, and and so now uh, all of Israel, they fled, they've retreated, they have abandoned their cities and the Philistines have come out and as their manner was in, in ancient times, they were, they were walking through the battlefield, stripping the bodies of uh, valued possessions and they, and they happened upon Saul and they, and they took his head from his body and, and fastened it uh, in the temple of Dagon, their God. And uh, just awful things had taken place. And when everyone else had fled, however, there was another, uh, another uh, group of people that arose. And the Bible says in verse 12, or actually to begin in verse, verse number 11, it says, When all Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose, all the valiant men, and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons, and brought them to Jabesh, and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh, and fasted seven days. The, I want you to mark the statement in verse 12. They arose, all the valiant men. What is God looking for today? He's looking for, uh, for Christians who are valiant for truth, just as John Bunyan in his great work, Pilgrim's Progress, uh, spoke of, a man named Valiant for Truth. But these folks here, they were valiant men, and they arose. Why were they valiant? Well, years before this, this transpired, before they arose and rescued Saul's body, Saul rescued them, and uh, they were they were threatened uh, to put out have their eyes put out by their adversary, and Saul and his uh, one of his finest hours as leaders of as the king of Israel rallied the armies of Israel together and delivered the inhabitants of Jabesh from reproach. And Christians, what we must never forget is that you and I have been rescued from reproach. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ Himself has come. He's He's taken away sin's penalty for us, given us everlasting life, and now he allows us the great privilege of loving him and living for him. And what he's asking that we do in return is that we simply rise up, uh, be valiant, and serve the Lord with all of our hearts. Uh, it, it, sometimes it takes courage, uh, it takes fortitude uh, to serve the Lord, uh, but there's no greater time than now, and there's no... Um, a more worthy cause than that of Jesus Christ. And so this afternoon, I'd just like to encourage you uh, to seek opportunity to serve the Lord. The Lord's looking for valiant men, and may they all arise and serve their King. Father, we thank you for your love and care for us. And Lord, our prayer is that you'd help us to rise up and serve you, Lord, with all of our hearts. Lord, we're thankful for the testimony of uh, these valiant men from Jabesh Gilead, and Lord, we ask that you would uh, instill in our own hearts this desire to serve our great King who has delivered us from, from such a, a woeful penalty of sin and death. And Lord, may we take our lives and, and invest them in your work. And so Lord, we pray for a blessed week. Use us, God, for your glory. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you, 
and uh, we hope to see you right back here tomorrow at noon. Uh, by the way, we're working here in just about an, an hour from now at 1 o'clock. We'll be working at the church putting together our gospel mailer uh, that will be sent out this week. So if you have about an hour and a half of time, and uh, we'd love to have you come over and work with us here for a short while. We're praying for you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.